I'm Kelly Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 352. I experienced Apple's iPhone announcement extravaganza from a table at a little Mexican restaurant in a tiny little town called Van Horn, Texas. It's called Chewy's, but from what I could gather, it doesn't have anything to do with the Elvis-loving chain with locations in larger cities around Texas. They had respectable complimentary Wi-Fi and a spicy chicken dish named after John Madden. My reaction to pretty much everything Apple announced today is, finally! iPhone 3.0 will be released this summer, and it'll finally bring us cut and paste. It'll finally bring us something resembling MMS. It'll finally give us more Bluetooth functionality, including stereo Bluetooth and peer-to-peer -peer connectivity for gaming and data transfer. I hope, I hope, I hope that extending Bluetooth functionality includes the ability to pair a Bluetooth keyboard. They didn't say that it would, but they did say developers will have the ability to take advantage of Bluetooth to connect to hardware. One other much begged for addition is the ability to use the keyboard in landscape mode in all major applications. Applications. All in all, I'm happy with the announcements, but to me the most important thing I got out of the day is that Apple is likely to be just fine without Steve Jobs pitching new things from center stage. No doubt I'd rather have Steve Jobs doing keynotes, but ultimately I just want him to be healthy. Dell officially launched their drool-worthy notebook called Adamo. It's thinner than a MacBook Air, and like all the new MacBooks, it's made from a single piece of aluminum. When we saw a video promo featuring the Adamo last week, we mistakenly thought it was meant to compare to a MacBook Pro, but after seeing the specs, it seems more like an alternative to a MacBook Air. The base model has a 13.4-inch display and is only 0.65 inches thin. The processor is a 1.2 GHz Core 2 Duo, RAM is 2 GB, and the hard drive is a 128GB solid-state drive. Mobile 3G broadband band is optional. Like on the Air, the optical drive is external and you can choose between a standard drive or Blu-ray. The consensus is that it's sexy, but like most sexy things, a tad overpriced. It starts at $2,000. I don't break a lot of stories on Geek Brief, but the few times I've had an opportunity to break a story, it's been exhilarating. One of my favorites was when I got to introduce Whoopra, a real-time web analytics application that makes monitoring website traffic more addictive than coffee. Version 1.3 has a massive amount of changes, but it isn't being pushed out to every Whoopra user for another week. You can go ahead and upgrade if you want an advanced look. I have a download link on the post for Brief 352 at www.geekbrief.tv. One of the key changes is the ability to connect to individual websites at will. There's also a really nice calendar view that lets you quickly see how many visits per day your site is getting. There are more changes than I have time to talk about here. You can see a complete list at whooper.com slash blog. One more really quick. Android will soon have a new feature that looks lovely. It's called Live Folders, and it does what you might imagine. It delivers live updates to a phone running Android. Updates could include posts from an RSS feed, real-time stock quotes, sports information, or just about anything a developer can dream. The new feature could be available within a few weeks. That's it for now. We're two days away from LA. Unless something falls through, I'm going to be shooting a couple of really cool interviews while I'm there, and there's a sliver of a chance combined with a massive amount of hope that I'll get to visit the set of The Big Bang Theory because one of the writers watches the brief. I want to show you why it's one of my favorite shows on TV right now. Thanks for watching. Kevin used my promo code GB2 to save money at GoDaddy.com when he registered 38works.com. I'm Callie Lewis. That's works, not works. They had respectable complimentary Wi-Fi and a spicy chicken dish named after John Maiden. My reaction Madden. to pretty much... Madden. Madden. Madden.